Before we get started, the first thing that you need to do is to install Joomla. Now there's several ways that you can install Joomla. You can do it manually, which I'm not gonna cover here, or you can do it with uh, cPanel. So that's the method that I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's you know very fast. Or if you have an existing website, you can you know just install the extension on there, as I'm gonna show you later. So let's go over here right now. I'm logged into the cPanel for a demo account that I have. Okay, from this point, you wanna to go to where it says quick install and you click on this. This is going to allow you to you know, easily uh, click install Joomla on your site. So once you've clicked on that, you should see where it says Joomla. Click on Joomla. And then you click on install Joomla. So once you click when you get this drop down here, I'm gonna choose the domain name. Now I wanna say that if you're installing Joomla on your primary domain, then you don't have to include a path for this. But if you're installing Joomla it's on a subdomain or another folder, then this is where you wanna put that. So I'm just gonna put in Netflix 2 here, and then for the put in your email, and then you put in a username, and then put in Netflix course and then click on install Joomla so you give it a few seconds or so when you get this pop-up you can just X that out give it a few minutes you know a few seconds or so it's gonna you know work whatever it's got to get working to install it and then you have this message that says install as complete you click on this drop down now what you want to do is you want to copy this password copy and then you click on this admin area and I would advise that once you're able to log in to change that password unless you save it somewhere. So the username is admin, and then I'm just gonna put in the password, paste. Okay, so now you've successfully logged in, and what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to just change uh, the password. And the reason why I'm doing it is because once you create it and you forget, you know, then you have to go back um, through the database and change the password just to make things easier. I'm just gonna change the password and then save and close. So now you've successfully installed Joomla. This is the back end of it. I'm not gonna save that one. When you click on the Netflix course here, it takes you to the front end of the site and this is what it looks like. So in the upcoming lessons, we're going to be building the site with just a blank template and let's move on to the next lesson.